And I've been blind. In church, reading your Bible, thinking that it's God, but feel like I ain't got to speak to people in my house. I can act some kind of way and thinking that it's all right. Not understanding when I read the Bible, God said, that ain't me. What you showing is not me. So you got to be able, this is what nobody got to judge you and say, you wrong, you wrong. It's when you look at God and you say, I'm wrong. I'm looking at how I'm acting. I'm looking at how I'm treating people that I say I love. You see what I'm saying? It's where you got to recognize it. It's not where somebody got to beat you upside the head. Shanyana, you got to see this. No, it's where God wants you to know. Because you got to understand when you go back to Genesis 1, before God created uh, uh, Eve, he created Adam first. In other words, God said, I want somebody that's going to pay attention to me. I want somebody that's going to talk to me. I want somebody that's going to look like me. I want somebody who's going to act like me. So when you go to Genesis 1 and 26, he said God created mankind in the likeness and image. He created them, male and female. So in other words, when I look at myself and I hate myself, I'm too skinny, I'm too fat, I'm too black, my hair too short, my hair too long. When I look at myself, I'm not looking at the image of God. I see the image that something is wrong. So when I look at myself and I see all this stuff wrong with me, I have now copied the image of darkness. You say, well, how you know it's darkness? Because the Bible say, I'm beautifully and wonderfully made. So if I'm beautiful and wonderfully made, why am I looking at myself and saying I'm ugly? Why am I looking at myself and saying I hate myself? I hate my nose. I hate the way I look. Because see, I'm looking at the image of something else. I didn't get that from God. Where did I get that from? See, you got a war because, see, the enemy has been in our family line. It's been in our generation where the women been insecure. Come on here, where the women feel like don't nobody love them, don't nobody care. Where they looking for love in all the wrong places when they never got healed. So, therefore, they looking for a man to complete them instead of saying, God, I need you. But in their mind, I need somebody to love me. Tell me you love me. Tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me. I look good. Tell me you want to be with me. Well, I'm defining myself in another human being, but I can't find no love in me. See, that's a war going on because you got people in this world, they trying to find love in another human being. Now, understanding, they missing the love of the Father. You see what I'm saying? Because we got the wrong image. Because TV tell us, You'll find it in a man. Isn't that what they tell us? We'll find it in another human being. When you got to understand, we always talk about God. But you don't see God. The only way you see God, God is in the spirit. You see him in his word. So you first got to find him in the spirit. Before you can find him in another human being. Because if you don't know him in the spirit, surely you ain't going to be able to find him in the natural. And that's the problem. We just say, I want me a good man. How you going to get a good man when you still see it? You looking for love in the wrong place. Only thing you know, you always in relationship where they beat you up. So guess what you're going to do? You're going to always be attracted to people that's going to beat you up. You ain't seen no difference. That's the image that you saw. Whatever image that you saw, that's the image that's on the inside of you. How do I change my image when I get in the Bible and I begin to reject now what's in me? No, this is not God. No, the person that God got for me, they're going to love me. Come on here. We're going to be able to pray together. We're going to be able to worship together. Come on here. That, because they're going to see God in me. And I got to allow God to heal me where I've been broken at. Because if you don't allow God to heal you where you're broken at, you're going to look for a person to fix what's wrong with you. And that's what's wrong with us. The war is going on because we're trying to we mad. I'm mad at her. Because if you just do what I tell you to do, we're going to be good friends. If you just listen to me, we're going to be good friends and we're going to make it. And that's what we're saying. If you just listen, Shangada, I promise you, if you just listen to me,
me, it'll be fine. No, it's not. Because I first got to heal me. And that's what it was. Because we don't want to look at ourselves and say, I'm sick. This is a war going on. You want to blame somebody, but you're sick. You want to blame somebody because you're dysfunctional. In order for you... You got to understand, even the world know that much. If a person is an alcoholic and they go to alcoholic anonymous, what the first thing they got to say? I am an alcoholic. You got to admit who you are. See, we trying to play games and trying to act like ain't nothing wrong with us. See, and you still got the wrong image. Because God said, I can't do nothing for you. Because see, Jesus said, I didn't come for those who were sick. I mean, for where I came for those who were sick. So in other words, you got to be able to tell him I'm sick. You got to be able to tell him I got a problem with myself. I got a problem. I don't like me. See, on our fast, we had to deal with self-hatred. I had to deal that I hated myself. I had to deal with it that I was small. I had to deal with that I was skinny. I had to deal with that. God took me back to my childhood. Or else I could like me now. This body, the, the body may change, but God had to change my soul. I had to go back and say, you know what? I reject saying I hated myself. I reject when I was a little girl in the sixth grade. And I said, they called me names. I had to reject and I said, I forgive them what they said about me. I forgive myself for believing what they said about me and I believed it. And I forgive my family because I didn't have nobody to tell me. I didn't have nobody to tell me you beautiful. I didn't have nobody to tell me. Come on here. That, 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 that you know where? Small and all, baby, you still beautiful. My daddy told me. But my dad didn't stay with my mom. You know, they separated. So my mom would work. You know, she would buy me clothes, but still not dealing with the self-hatred. My, she didn't see the self-hatred in me. Used to put on two pair of pants. Cause I, you so skinny, you so skinny. Trying to make myself be big, rejecting me, and I had to. God took me. This was a powerful fast for me, because He taught me back to say, you know what, you're beautiful. I was right there with you when they was calling you name. I was right there with you. I called you beautiful. He said, so who you gonna believe? You gonna believe what man say about you, or you gonna believe what I say about you? I said, I choose to believe what you say about me. 